dog trial and it is guilty. The jury says shelter owner Peanut Kilby stole money and from donors and also ordered the secret deaths of dogs and cats that she promised to protect. Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis joins us live now from Raven County. Randy. Yes, Sine, it took this jury about three and a half hours to come back with a guilty verdict on all 60 counts of theft and racketeering. The jury believed the state's case that Peanut Kilby stole $10,000 of donor money while also secretly ordering the deaths of dog and cats that she promised would not be euthanized. Now, as the guilty verdicts were being read, Peanut Kilby showed no emotion in the courtroom. Deputies eventually handcuffed her and took her into custody. She will be at the Raven County Jail until sentencing uh, takes place at a later date. That date has not been set yet. Now, in her testimony, Peanut Kilby blamed all the problems that the state had uncovered on a, a Fox 5 hidden camera I-team investigation and the whistleblower in this case, Lynn Cousins. I want to bring in the DA and the DA staff in this case. This is Brian Rickman. We've got Maggie Hastings, Don Page, the uh, chief investigator and longtime sheriff here in Raven County. Mr. Rickman, why did you believe the whistleblower over what Peanut Kilby was saying about what was going on at Boggs Mountain? Well, there was just um, a very intricate trail of documented evidence, emails, bank records. Um, we brought in Lori Dyke from IAG Forensics who helped sort of uh, untangle the mess. And uh, at, at every turn where we went, uh, the evidence just led to one place. Now, our original investigation looked at the secret deaths of dogs and cats. Your investigation found the money angle, and that was really the heart of this case, correct? That's correct. Um, the, the animals that you uncovered in the euthanizations, what we, we said behind closed doors from the beginning was there had to be a reason. There had to be a motive. There had to be... Uh, what we believe was financial gain, and that's exactly what we found. And you really believe that she took this money from donors, had the dogs and cats secretly killed, because she was going to Cherokee to use the money to feed gambling trips. Is that correct? Well, I think that the gambling trips had to be fueled by money. I think that the more animals she was able to move through, the more pledges she could get. Uh, and I. I'm not saying that she set out for it to end up that way, but in practice, that's that's what ended up happening. It snowballed. You're a longtime member of this community. Boggs Mountain Humane Shelter was once a shining example of no-kill animal shelters, really for people across the country. As a member of this community, what was your reaction when you heard what was really going on over there? It was horrible. I mean, it was, I think what I, what people need to understand is, is uh, what a special place that was in the community and that People here, I think most people are happy for this day because they did not want the last impression of Rabin County to be just the scandal. They wanted part two. They wanted to see that a Rabin County community will say this is not right. Now, Pina Kilby has not been sentenced. She's in jail awaiting sentencing. What sort of sentence do you think she deserves? She, I believe she deserves prison time. Uh, we haven't had a chance to talk about exactly what we'll be recommending to the judge, but significant prison time. Um, what you have to understand is it's not only the dollar amount, as you've seen, but the effect of that was the shelter was effectively destroyed. You know, so it's not just a $10,000 theft. It is um, we watched our shelter implode in our community. All right, Brian Rickman, DA here in Raven County. Thank you very much. Again, Pina Kilby. Uh Convicted now, all 60 counts of theft and racketeering sentencing at a later date. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll have a, uh, an interview with the jury foreman with his thoughts of why they uh, convicted her on all 60 counts in only three, three and a half hours this afternoon. Reporting live from Rabin County, Randy Travis, Fox 5 News. Yeah, it'll be very interesting to see how that penalty phase unfolds. All right, Randy, thanks.